Hey, I'm Clutch. Welcome to my monthly reading, where I use your sun sign in order to help you navigate through the month with ease, with the help of my tarot cards. So, I hope this video will resonate with you. If not, then I hope it will offer a new perspective. Um, with that being said, let's get into the reading. So a little bit about myself, I'm a Scorpio, and my <laughs> King of Cups, Scorpio, nice, nice synchronicity there. I'm a Scorpio, and my rising's Aries, and my moon is Gemini, so a lot of air and a lot of um, emotional qualities there. Um, I originally started off being interested in the Chinese Zodiac um, when I went to this restaurant called Golden Phoenix. They had mats on the table that had um, each of the 12 Zodiac animals. And then um, I found out that mine was dog and it resonated with me. And ever since I've been interested, um, I would say it wasn't until later that I've gotten um, more fast. I was more interested in the Western Zodiac with uh, Scorpio and all that and I found out that there was more depth to it and ever since I've started reaching reading it it's like I've been addicted ever since and um, kind of snowballed through there um, later on found tarot cards um, but that's just a little bit about me so starting off we have Aries All right, so we already got two cards dropping out. I have the Hangman and the Four of Swords reverse. All right. I'm seeing it as Trusting your own inner guidance. Taking a moment to pause and like really think about things from a different perspective. And let those be fall cards. The cards that I'm working with is the Rider White deck. This was actually my first deck. Um, afterwards, I got Crystal Visions and Universal Fantasy. Alright, so Aries, I'm doing the Celtic Cross Spread. All right, Aries. Aries. What I'm seeing with this is that you had to let go of some dead weight in order to move forward. You had to reevaluate where you stand in order to move things forward.
Will of Fortune is what's crossing you. I see, like, the Will of Fortune as being, like, stuck in order for you to, um, get things moving in order to you be, to, for you to be in a more happier position emotionally. Um, you had to, um, you had to start spending that will on your own. Like, um, I see it. I have a lot of water cards in here, especially like, um, as the root card, the eight of cups reverse. I see it as like a relationship, um, maybe a friendship. Something did not work out. And, um, I could see it as like that person potentially holding you back. Or there's someone that um, you had to leave because they were toxic. And yeah, it looks like it was sad, but it wasn't like um, it didn't break you. It caused emotional pain, but it wasn't something that um, had you um, extremely all in your feelings and like, you know, eating ice cream and watching, um, listening to breakup songs and stuff like that. No, I don't see it that at, I don't see you doing that. <laughs> all right, the Empress is telling me that you have it good now. Like, um, things are, like, uh, you're in a much better, happier, you're in a much happier position now. Give me a sec. Ooh, yikes. Okay, even though you're in a happier position now... Make sure you don't go back to the devil. Make sure. Let me see what the devil has to say. <laughs> that sentence, though. Yeah, this person wants you back. Like, I see it like they want you with them, or they want to keep you stuck but not like a conscious kind of thing. It could be like, um, let's just say someone had like toxic behavior, but they're not necessarily aware that it's toxic. Um, but it's toxic towards you. And that's really what matters is like, um, if, if it's causing you emotional distress, then it's not something that you want to like indulge in with the devil. Okay, and I see it with the reverse Queen of Cups. Maybe they weren't giving to you. Maybe they weren't uh, supporting you emotionally. Or maybe they could be draining. I sense that there's um, unfulfillment. I see you as in, um, you're not entirely happy what happened, but what I'm getting from this card is satisfaction. So maybe you feel uh, more satisfied because um, even though you had to let something go, you still have the Empress available. So whatever, in whatever form that takes, um, the Empress is still with you. And that's what's giving you your satisfaction. Don't indulge in toxic behaviors.
Okay, this is kind of strange, but the King of Cups is actually telling me um, you create the story. So whatever that story is that you're he hearing or whatever you're feeling, that's your story. It's however you want to create it. What do you want to see from this situation? What do you want to get out of it? It could be a lesson. It could be um, pain. It's better to just have it as a lesson. Um, I see it also like you're gaining better control over your emotions. I'm not sure if this uh, individual or people or whatever the situation is that caused the emotional distress. I see it as you gaining you're really getting a better grip on your emotions and you're protecting yourself which is good watch out for energy vampires because they just want to keep you trapped and you gotta put up your defenses if you don't want to be a slave to the devil like um be welcoming, but make sure that you have those clear boundaries set. Make sure that you're protecting the Empress, whatever form that is coming for you. Make sure that it's taken care of. Make sure that Empress is taken care of. That could be like in a relation, uh, a new lover in a relationship, or it could be like a new job. It could be. Um, anything, whatever you feel abundant in, make sure that the devil does not lay its hands on that. And you do this by making sure that you maintain those clear boundaries and you're taking care of yourself, taking care of your needs. Let me draw one oracle card for you, Aries. See if there's any remaining messages. Forgiveness. The Sorcerer Reverse. Not just for yourself, but for others. Even if what they did was unforgivable, you don't have to forgive completely. At least forgive yourself. Make sure you aren't taking any actions to sabotage things. All right, now I'm getting out of this. Things will not bend to your will. I'm not sure if it's referring like to the other person or to you, but just take that in consideration. And just needing to come to acceptance of things. Alright, well, that's all I have for you, Aries. Um, I'll take a picture of this, and I'll post a picture after the video. See you later. Taurus. Right now, I see it as like you finding your happy place, like you found your happy place um, or a position where you feel very comfortable in order to like, um, whether that's who or what you have into your life, um, however you're doing it, however you're managing it, maybe you're um, letting go of like old junk, maybe you're cleaning out um, your house. It, it seems like you're doing a really good job at managing like, um, the good, sorting the good from the bad, or what's useful and um, what doesn't serve you. 
and you're doing a really good job at like um, calling the shots when it comes to that. I see it as like you could have felt. I don't want to say you felt left out in the past, but you felt like there. You probably felt like there were things that were uh, very cluttered and it's like you know that you had to do some releasing, whether that's like purging of emotions, of uh, negative emotions, um, negative lower vibrational uh, things that um, attach to you. Maybe it's um, of people um, that haven't been serving your highest good, but I see it like um, you realize that changes needed to be made in order to um, achieve success in order to change things around. I see you really calling the shots and like you really taking the time out to like really. Yeah, I see you really taking the time out to think about to put the work in it takes in order to make in order to bring about changes um if this is like um a job opportunity or if this is um a career if this resonates to you in the terms of like career i could see you like um putting your the work in maybe in the past you felt like um you felt left out maybe you were broke didn't have the finances you want but then you decide hey Changes need to changes need to be made, and then like you're actually taking the time out to make those changes, to put in the work, to um, do what you can in order to succeed. And with this card, it's saying, "Don't close yourself off from opportunities." Are other ideas so um, I know how I know how Taurus is like um, your your earth sign very grounded and like um, once you have an idea or once you uh, have something that you feel is great I know how um, it's like you don't want to you don't want to go with other ideas when you feel like you already have like a good idea, but that might that might actually be to your benefit to consider other options as well or other avenues. If you're still stuck in the place where you felt um, trapped or like you didn't feel as you felt left out, then like this could be seeing prob from different perspectives could be what changes that around or maybe this could be the people around you that um, maybe they could be throwing shade your way and you know you don't want to listen to that and like you have to release those people from your life The Hierophant Reverse is telling me that you decide how things go. Also, what I'm getting from this is kind of like a story. Like, if you were to write the story on how you want things to go, then how would you write it? That's what the Hierophant is telling me. Who would follow what role in whatever script? That you're playing out here. The tower, the tower reverse. I see it as um. Yeah, you're the only one that can bring about the necessary change. You have to be the one to strike the tower. If not, then it's going to fall itself. Either way, you can either be it or you can wait for it to come around for you.
the High Priestess. I'm seeing what it's telling me is have like some sort of idea of where you're going. I want to say daydream more or spend that time like um, doing more creative visualization and really consider like um, where it is like whatever efforts or whatever work that you're putting in to either move out, get a new job, find a new relationship or whatever it is that you feel like needs to be changed within your life in order to obtain something better, in order to release yourself. Take some time to think about like where do you where do you want it to land? Like where do you want this plane to land? Whenever you're done uh, tending to the fields, like what what kind of plants do you want to grow? The judgment reversed. You have to be the one to bring. You have to be the one to call the shots. You have to be the one to bring about the change. Otherwise, spirit or the universe is going to make a change for you. And it's better that you're the one deciding on how things change as opposed to uh, someone else. Yep. These two cards. Make big transformation cards. This is also a time to free yourself. Financial freedom. If you're looking for financial freedom, you have to be the one to bring about that change. Give me a second. Gonna draw an oracle card from a mystical shaman oracle deck. Yes, this has to be one of my favorite decks. The illustrations are amazing for it. I remember getting this during the school year. It's just one of the gifts that I gave that I've given to myself. Um, during a time where I was like, um, I don't want to say I was stressed, but like I was coming out of like depression. So I thought, you know what? I should reward myself since I've been working hard this semester and I need a new deck. And I fell in love with this deck ever since. So what does Taurus need to know? Jaguar reverse. Nobody's fooling you. And if you're the one fooling yourself, then stop it. <laughs> if you're the one that is being tricked, whether it's from someone else or maybe you're telling lies to yourself, knock it off. You're worthy. Go after what you want. You're not trapped. You don't have to put restrictions on yourself. You're worthy enough to get it. Go after it, Taurus. This doesn't have to be a game that you play. The best way to get the best way to end games that are being played, toxic games or shadow games that are being played, is to not play them at all. So if whatever way, shape, or form that's taking for you, 
if um, you're being played or if you feel like you're in a game that you're losing, then don't play it at all. You play your own game and you figure out how you can bring about the change. All right, that looks like that's all I have for you, Taurus. Um, I'll take a picture and add it after this video. Thanks for watching. Gemini. The first card that I have for you, Gemini, is the Chariot. I see you taking action. I see you make. I see you um, taking command and doing what you need to do in order to get things done. I see you like you having. You're having um, a lot of energy right now, like a lot of energy to expense as well as like. Just um, it, yeah. You see how the chariot's uh smiling and um, at the same time, he's um, he's very enthusiastic. I see that as being you right now, as um, you're able to take control, like um, in terms of like what comes in and out of your life, or like how things how you're managing your things, whether that be finances, relationships, or like um, material possession, whatever it is, I see you, you having what it takes to manage those things, as well as navigate the Queen of Wands, as well as navigate and make uh, firm decisions on which direction you would like to go. Queen of Wands is also telling me to um, tell you to keep a positive attitude. I see you like in a very good state of mind, like um, like you're feeling very confident right now. Like you have that Queen of Wands energy that uh, very passionate, uh, fiery energy, that very extroverted, outgoing energy. And I know that you're Gemini's, you're very social. So like this might be a good time to um, go to social events, um, probably mingle with people, um, make some new friends. Also see it like letting go of the old friends. Maybe you had friends in the past that Yeah, maybe you had um people around you that were um that didn't quite resonate with you. And um now you're looking to um really improve your social group or just improve the quality and 
prove the quality of people that you're speaking with or surrounding yourself with. I keep holding this up because, like, this is at the root of the problem. And, um, I really see it, like, you just in perfect harmony. Like, um, uh, similar to Taurus's reading where, like, you're just, um, letting go of the old and that d which doesn't serve you. I see it, like, um, this, you're, like, you're taking your time out to reevaluate, um, your, your circle, your group, your, who you surround yourself with. Yeah, there doesn't need to be any unnecessary drama in your life, Gemini. Whoever you surround yourself with, there shouldn't be any kind of reason that you guys should be arguing or like just go repeating a problem over and over again and just um, going through the same bullshit over and over again. You deserve a more peaceful state of mind. And if you keep getting back into that, into that um, toxic argumentative energy, then you're going to have to go through the same problem again. And um, I can see that this was a very tough lesson for you to learn, like um, who you surround yourself with or um, who you work with. It doesn't even have to be like your friend group or your common social group, it could be like, um, co-workers as well like um if you're collaborating with someone's classmates as well if you're collaborating with someone then make sure that you know around people that that are shunning you or people that um aren't doing their job and you have to pick up the slack i see many opportunities for you Whichever avenue you would like to go into, whether that's um, making new friends, um, I don't want to say like career again, but like um, as a possibility, but I see this more so like um, your social group in terms of like who you surround yourself with. I see like there is being many options in terms of like who can help fill your cup, who can like enhance your life, who you could collaborate with. If you're starting your own business or if you're working with somebody, then you have many options for who you could, who you can surround yourself with that will help you out with that. Just make sure you don't go back to this energy. Don't go back to the same negative patterns that happen again and again you don't want to get stuck in that yep the emperor I see you being very adamant about it now you do not want to be on the position where you're at the bottom again you want to be on the top. You want to sit on top of your throne. You want to change this right side up so that you're the one on top. It doesn't have to be at the expense of others, but make sure that you don't get the short end of the stick. Yeah, I'm here looking at the emperor and like I see the emperor looks very fulfilled. Like he has his finances together, he has relationships together, he has um he has like his own social his own clique that he's with that he surrounds himself with that you know he can trust. Like the emperor seems very comfortable right now. And I see you needing to dive into that energy, into that adamant energy. Make whatever changes you need to in order to become the emperor or the empress even for even women like you can dive into like the energy of the emperor as well it's, it's not just uh, exclusively to uh, men it's just um, owning that energy of 
I have my shit together and I'm not going to deal with people who don't have their shit together or people who is holding me back. People who wants to see me get the short end of the stick. Will of Fortune. Okay, with this I'm saying you can't always predict like who will who will turn out toxic for you. I mean like you can notice uh, red flags and signs like right away, but you can't always predict like if um, let's just say you're going into a friendship and then like later you guys end up growing apart. That that happens sometimes where um, you either grow apart or maybe like you guys have a different lifestyles and it's um, draining for you or it's not um, or it doesn't seem very beneficial and it feels like it's holding you back keeping you from um, this ten of cups energy Be what's this card telling me despite that be the one to get the wheel spinning. If someone stops your wheel, make sure you spin it back again. Spin it so it's always on its upside. So that it can be on its upside. If that makes any sense. Basically, don't let anyone hold you back. Alright, let me draw a shaman card for you. Happiness is right around the corner. What I'm seeing with this card is don't let anyone tell you that you can't be happy. You tell yourself that you can be happy, and you will. That's all I have, Gemini. Keep your light shining bright. Cancer. Five of Cups Reverse. What I'm getting with this card is saying don't give up. Things might seem lonely and it might seem like you're doing it on your own or like you have to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders, but it looks like the resources around you are starting to flourish. Like, um, if you're having more financial stability in your life, if you're having um, just um, more available resources, maybe you're starting to eat well and like you're living a more healthy life. Um, don't give up. Alright, so the Queen of Wands reversed. I'm not sure if someone called you out on your shit. Or if, um... Someone was just spitting venom, just... Talking shit. But it looks like it... It was something very meaningful. Something, um, maybe they could have said it, um, very offensively, or, like, um, they, um, you know how, uh, some people can just be brutally honest, or, like, some people are honest, but, yeah,
basically the same thing. Some, how some people can be honest, but they say it in kind of a mean way or like how it was said. It looks like it was something that made you retreat or something where you, you really questioned that person, what they said. And um, it could have been something that was uh, truthful. But at the same time, like the way they went about it or the way that they brought it to your attention, it wasn't in a way that resonated with you. Or maybe if that person just um, wasn't the right match for you, maybe you could have been dating somebody that um, wasn't the right match for you. But at the same time, like you were learning a lot from that person and they, they opened your eyes. Like they brought it to your attention about the flaws or perceived flaws that you have that you can improve on but back to the nine of pentacles it looks like um your environment or just whatever surrounding you like your finances and stuff are doing good it looks like you're you're doing this journey on your own but i see that there were feelings that are hurt in this situation or the situation that's to come within a month. The Knight of Cups is saying, don't be a follower. And I'm getting with the Ten of Cups. It's saying, how do you want to create your harmony? What does the harmony look like to you? Whatever it is that you find peaceful or um, whatever the Ten of Cups looks like to you, it wouldn't look like it to someone else. Whoever it is, uh, Queen of Wands reversed is, whoever it is that brought that to your attention, whatever the situation was, or whatever character flaw that they pointed out it could have been some truth within it but how they said it was wrong or maybe their vision of like harmony didn't necessarily align with yours so it turned out to be a situation that you felt you had to get away from in order to find your version of harmony or your version of peace and joy. With the chariot reverse, I'm getting sort of like a chess piece kind of a game. Like, um, maybe this is something that you're very strategic about or something that you have to take in consideration. It could be, like, um, maybe whoever this Queen of Wands is or whatever the Queen of Wands reverse was. Um, it's something that you could have benefited from or are benefiting from. But at the same time, if you're exposed to too much of that energy, then it'll leave you just in that uh, Five of Pentacles reverse energy where like you just feel outcasted and ignored or just isolated. I'm seeing like a chess piece kind of game thing going on sort of like um think two think two five ten steps ahead of your whoever you're going against against your phone make sure you're thinking ahead wherever they move their piece be be able to have the appropriate response
I see it like you're enjoying the fruits of your labor. Like you're you're sitting there on your throne, like just in a really happy place. I see it as like maybe this person was holding you back, but they brought something that could have been brought something to your like I know I'm repeating myself, but they brought um something to your attention that could have changed your perspective or just feel made you feel more appreciative of the things around you or the resources around you so you feel more comfortable um but maybe this was a person that wasn't bringing you comfort bringing you comfort to a bad situation is that what I'm getting? I'm seeing with this reading that you're taking care of. You're good. It's just whatever the situation was with um, the Queen of Wands reverse and the Knight of Cups reverse, whatever didn't work out, friendship, relationship, um, co-worker, whoever it was that didn't work out or whatever it is that was brought to your attention. I feel like it's made you, it's put you in a place where you feel like very humble and like more appreciative of the things that you have. And it looks like you have a lot, <laughs> a lot going for you with the Nine of Cups reverse. This card is telling me to tell you to be proud. Be proud of what you have. Maybe this wasn't necessarily a person that you had to kick out, but you just feel more appreciative of them. Just be proud of what it is that you have, is what I'm getting with this. All right, now on to the Oracle card. Stand still. This is definitely a good time for you to relax and just settle into your own energy. Just be you. Enjoy what you already have right now. Like, <laughs> for example, I love games. So, like, if you have, like, 20 video games and you have like you beat most of them and like two or three that you haven't even finished yet but you want a new one for entertainment just beat those last uh, games have some fun with that for a while and then move on to the next one just enjoy what the present moment be more present with what's going on you're surrounded by all these cups make the most of it that's all I have for you cancer thank you your picture will be after this video Leo. <laughs> looks like someone's been on your mind. Someone's been keeping you up all night. It looks like this is in a good way. Or, um, I want to say, like, I don't want to use the word obsession, but it's like, um, you're very fond of this person and um it looks like they <laughs> they've been keeping you up all night um i don't know if you guys are already communicating or if you or if you 
maybe you could have met like a cute bartender and then like um one day you start like just going to that bar and just having really intriguing and en engaging conversations with that person um i see it you really adore this person But you don't know if they feel the same. <laughs> Alright, the Knight of Cups is telling me, of course they feel the same. You're Leo, you're popular. You're, you're very likable. I see it like you getting stuck. Because you're not sure necessarily how to approach the situation or how to address the situation. Like really stuck on what should I do in this situation. In the past, you could have offered them a drink, you could have invited them out, possibly give their number, you know, slide through, and then um, maybe even slide in those DMs, and now you're just waiting for a response, and it's really keeping you up, because they haven't responded. But I see it as um, something that... Something that could go well for you. All right, Ten of Swords Reverse. I see it like you have to do a lot of letting go, or that's in the past, of stuff in the past. Maybe you could have a lot of options. Of, I'm not sure, maybe you could be a player and then have like a lot of options and like all the options that you're speaking with, um, you're not sure how to let them go. You're like, oh, I really want this person. I really want, um, the Knight of Cups offer, or I want to offer the Knight of Cups something, but I have these, all these options, and all of the, I have so much fun hanging out with, uh, these many different women, or men, or whoever, and, um, you know, I don't want to necessarily lose them, but this person might be worth it. It's your call. It's really your call, rather. You want to remain with all these options? Or you want to take that person out for dinner and really get to know them? Once you make a decision, then all these people will stop fighting. All these people with all of their wands, they'll stop voicing their opinions, they'll stop clouding your judgment, whether that's inner conflict or external conflict. It looks like all that, your mind will be more at ease. And you'll get better sleep at night once you decide to make the call. Once you've, stu once you've decided on a firm decision and you want to stick with it. I'm getting a lot of cancer energy, but this could be a water sign. More than likely cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And this person is just very nurturing for you towards you, like very, like very embracing, it feels different, different than what you're usually used to, different than these options right here, 
I see this person being someone that's helped you let your guard down, help you loosen up. So, like, back to the player scenario, let's just say if you were a player and you have, like, all these options and, like, all of them based, seem kind of bland or the same, like, oh, you know, we go out on a date with this person, to, we go out to, I go out to eat with this person, and that's kind of been your thing. Well, this person right here, you might go out to eat with them, but it could be at a restaurant that you're not even familiar with or that you wouldn't even normally try. And then, like, you could you could be, like, the person in the Nine of Wands uh, picture, like, um, I guess I'll try it. And then it turns out to be something that you you really love. So I see this as a person that's really... That's really helping you open up and really helping you, um, helping you grow as a person. And, um, really, they're really broadening your horizons. Just loosen up, be comfortable around them. Enjoy the time you guys are spending. The last card for your future I got was Moon. That's why I'm I'm pretty sure this is a cancer that you're dealing with. But you feel like you're in a dream when you're around this person. Like this person makes time stop for you. Yep, that's pretty much what all I'm getting from the moon. Alright, now time for your shaman card. The middle world. If it were upright, this would usually be a card of like, go for it. Like, you can accomplish it easily. You can knock it out just go for it but since this is reversed since this is coming as your medicine um it talks about you needing to just let the universe handle it so whatever normal strategy whatever normal flirt tactics that you have or um whatever um usual routine you go when it comes to flirting like this is going to be different for this person like this is someone that you're not used to dealing with so it's going to be different overall like you can't use the same thing this is i see this as an opportunity for you to even this card uh turned reverse it fell out and turned upright i see it as um this really being a good time for you to learn as well as be patient. Let this connection happen naturally. Let it flow easily towards you. And just enjoy being with that person. Even if it's even if it's not the same routine or thing that you're um, used to dealing with. Um, whatever that call is, maybe you have to be more direct when approaching them or it could be just being more patient and waiting for them to open up to you. Possibly waiting for them to open up to you. Wherever it is that's different, I feel like that will work best for you. Just be patient. That's all I have for you, Leo. Um, your picture will be after this video. Hope this resonated with you. See ya. Virgo. The first card I got for this reading is the Hermit. And with this reading, I'm seeing um, the cards are telling me you do you. You do you in a way that um, you feel comfortable in order to um, expand your boundaries as well as like find balance 
so if you're if you're looking for inspiration maybe step outside your comfort zone and then um explore do some adventures and then um go back home and then like um reflect upon your ideas and see how they can inspire you or maybe it's um you do you in a way that um you can find balance emotionally or mentally i'm seeing in the past there were there's a there's a situation that you're having to let go of that's um it's a very uncomfortable situation maybe you had to lose a friend or lose um a job maybe lose um a possession a pet anything like that and it's like you're it was something that made you stronger Like, that loss is never really a loss. I see it as more so you're, you're letting go of dead weight. You're letting go of, like this, um, like this wand right here. You see all these leaves falling. Of course, the leaves look beautiful, but think of that as, like, the dead weight that you're letting go of. It could be limiting the leaves. It could also be, like... A friend or a person from a past, from your past, past life possibly, that's um, been holding you back or someone that you feel like you could depend on. Yeah, someone that you feel like you could depend on that's um, not coming around. So it looks like you. You're having to be the one to make the start, make the new start in your life. You're having to be the one to make, to bring that balance. I don't know if this was a Sagittarius or um, whatever sign, Libra possibly. Um, but I'm seeing it as like you're find, you're starting to find that balance. It could be between like um, the time you spend with friends and the time you spend alone. Like you're starting to find that balance. Maybe you don't have to give so much time to your friends and hang out all the time if uh, you just want to chill and just relax and do your own thing. That's a possibility. Whatever the case is, I see it as um, you really beginning something new. Yeah, the world's telling me once you find that balance, once you find that balance, then you can start taking off. You can start flying, you'll get your wings, and you'll start moving. You'll start growing and spread and flying. How am I trying to work this? You'll start growing in a way that you never thought that you would expect. Like, being an earth sign, um, let's just say you've had the earth sign experience of being on land. Walking around, you know about the world, you know what it's like walking on land. Then all of a sudden, boom, you got wings. Okay, it's going to take, um, it's going to take some time in order to learn how to fly with them. In order to learn how to soar, glide, and all that. But once you've got it down, then you can start flying wherever you need to go. So I see this could have been like um, two other people, a third party situation, or people that you felt like you could depend on and that's um, really been letting you down. Or you feel like um, they haven't been helping you out. Maybe you haven't had a support group. Um, Back again, I could, like I said, uh, could be a Sagittarius. Um, maybe it could be um, a male figure in your life that um, has been letting you down. And it's just someone that you've had to cut out of your life. Or just um, really been assertive, like really establish your boundaries. And that's what uh, came as the shock to you or... Um, that's um, something that you're having trouble let go. Maybe you could be seeing the good that they do, like the good side of it, but you're not seeing the bad side of things. 
and that's something that you're going to have to reflect on, take some time to like really consider in order for you to start um, that new journey, in order for you to find that balance within your life. Uh, don't be afraid to assert yourself. Don't be afraid to be like the Queen of Swords reverse and say, yo, that's not flying. That's not going to work with me. And really establishing your boundaries. Like, um, I don't care who the King of Wands is. Don't let him burn you. <laughs> don't don't let his fire energy um, burn your happiness. Don't let it um, don't let it bring you out of balance. This could be in terms of like effort. Maybe you need to tap into that King of Wands energy and like put more effort into um, projects or what it is that you would like in order to reach a reach a better end. I see this more so in terms of like communication and how you relate to other people. It could be a king of wands that's um, holding you back. But with the last cards, these both fell out. So I'm gonna make this 11, well technically 12 card um, reading. So with the Knight of Pentacles, no. focus on your craft. Whatever history you had in the past with this person or whoever this, even if it's the Queen of Wands that you're having trouble with, just really focus on your craft. Just focus on like whatever it is you can produce, whatever it is that you can make. Uh, focus on that. Let that be. Let that be the light inside your lantern. Let that be what fuels you, what keeps you going. You don't have to depend on the King of Wands energy, or whoever that King of Wands is. I'm, I'm really getting a lot of Sagittarius uh, energy from this. You don't have to depend on that energy in order to grow, in order to find balance. You're the one that finds balance within yourself. And once you find that balance within yourself, you'll devote more time to your craft, like really like really going at it like hammering in putting the time in just grinding and that's what's going to be what what brings you to this new world what brings you to this uh either new lifestyle or emotional balance contentment that you feel through either letting go of whatever that energy whatever whatever is bringing you out of balance could be a friend, coworker, family, boss, anything like that. Whatever it is that um, you're having trouble or whatever it is that you're trying to repair, do not try to repair it. Just let it happen. Let it go with the flow. And you just focus on finding balance. You just focus on doing you. Just focus on your craft because that's what's important right now. The relationships, um, the friendships that you'll get, They'll come, like, you'll attract more people, better friends, more compatible friends for you when you um, focus on your craft, when you focus on what nurtures you and how you can improve yourself. Birds of the fl same feather flock together. And with this, don't be afraid to step into your power. You're a powerful person, Virgo. It doesn't matter how dark it is, you shine your bright, you shine your light as brightly as you want to. Who cares if it wakes the neighbors? You're working on your craft. Shine it as light, shine it as bright as you want it to be. Uh. Yeah, let it glow. Don't be afraid to show your true self. Because once you, once you shine your light, once you hold your lantern up in the darkness, there will be other people with the exact same lantern coming towards you. In fact, you wouldn't even need the lantern. You yourself will be bright enough to attract those that shine just as brightly. So you could get a new friend group. You could um, find new opportunities. Um, 
anything like that that um that really feels that brings you balance but um basically to summarize it um you really just need to take some time out for your, for yourself to work on your craft kick anybody out that's not serving your highest good don't be afraid of the loss don't be afraid to lose them you just do you virgo you focus on what makes you what helps you improve as a person all right that's all i have for you virgo thanks for watching the video Libra. It looks like you're at a good place, like, um, you feel like you have, uh, mastered yourself as well as, like, the environment around you. Like, um, you have the, um, skills that you need in order to progress through life. Um, it seems like you've learned a lot and you've really been honing your skills as well as just um, really improving your talents and it looks like you're in a time of resting like um, you could be on vacation or you could be just um, having some time off from work and um, <laughs> it looks like you're not ready to go back um, to the usual grind but you know, when it's time to get work done, like, um, you've mastered that shit, like, you know what the fuck you're supposed to do, and, like, um, yeah, you're at a good place, um, with the Seven of Swords, originally it was reversed, but it fell out, um, upright, I'm seeing, um, Be careful of sneaky people, as well as make sure that you're avoiding uh, drama. Don't get involved with it. And um, as for uh, wisdom. Yeah, if you have to end any kind of relationships or any like toxicity within your life, um, make sure that you just... Um, Notice any kind of red flags and just uh, end that quick. Because um, if someone's already shown you um, their true colors, chances are they're not going to change or they're going to take a very long time to change or their values don't resonate with you. What the tower is saying that it's better to end things as well as create balance within your life with the temperance cards. Watch out for any kind of frenemies. Yeah, with uh, both of these cards, I'm seeing like re very deceptive energy. As well as with the Nine of Wands, it's saying um, be very protective of yourself. Like, um,. Think of these other ones as your social group. If it's just um, nine people that you talk to that you feel like you can trust, um, just let it be that nine people. You don't need like a very wide social group. But just make sure that the people you surround your, yourself with have your best interest, as well as the final card being the High Priestess Reverse. Yeah, it's saying don't sacrifice yourself. Don't sacrifice your time or energy like on people that won't do the same for you. Usually the, car, the high priestess is a card of intuition. So really just um, trust if, 
if it doesn't feel reciprocated, then it probably isn't. With these two cards together, I really see that it's a time to make a change. Like, it's time to really let go of that was not serving you and just uh, put an end to things. Like, uh, you can surround yourself with um, people that... Uh, you can surround yourself with people that um, will expand upon your knowledge, um, but just make sure that you're not walking away with the people that are like superficial that want to like show things off or like just appear friendly, but they have alternative motives. Yeah, because both of these cards together, like, just um. I see just very deceptive and like uh, sneaky people around you as well as like just needing to put an end to things. I see that you You've already learned uh, things like you've already learned like patterns like um, like I said, if someone shows you their true colors, then they're going to keep continue doing the same thing. Like they're going to repeat the same patterns over and over again. Uh, sometimes they would uh, find alternative ways to do it, but even so, like you're able to recognize their energy. You're able to recognize that Libra. Like, just make sure you rely on your intuition. Alright, your Shaman Oracle card. The Anian Cross. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But it's telling me that it's time to make a change. It's time to bring about the changes that you want. Like if that's... Um, if... Um, Let's just say these were your friends that you hang out with, your, cir your circle that you um, associate with the most. Um, let's just say like every weekend you hang out with them. Um, if they energize you, spend more time with them. Spend more time with the positive people within your life and bring about that change. Be adamant about it. Yeah, that's all I'm getting with this card. Alright, it looks like you've really mastered your skills, Libra. And um, if you really want to make positive changes or really bring that balance in your life, um, just surround yourself with good people. As well as, like, just um, protect yourself. Um, protect yourself from any kind of energy vampires or anyone that would like to drain you of your energy or just waste your time. Don't get involved with any kind of drama and just put an end to things. You don't have to associate yourself with that.
and just really trust yourself. You'll know them when you see them. Alright, that's all I have for you, Libra. Thanks for watching the video. I'll put your I'll put your reading down below. Scorpio. I see that you um you've really found had to um, do a lot go through a lot in order to find balance right now in order to find that harmony within yourself what I'm seeing is that um, you've had to um, overcome like a lot of struggles like a lot of mental emotional struggles like a lot of challenges in order to feel at peace within yourself. I see that a lot of things didn't work out um, for you emotionally and um, it's very hard. Like you've had to make a lot of tough decisions recently, I'd say within the past few weeks. And um, you're f you felt the sting of it, like you, like you, you're you're really going through a lot right now. We're really going through a lot right now. I see the Ten of Wands is also telling me um, it's saying mental strength. I know sometimes you feel like you're at the bottom or you're the underdog. I'm seeing what the Ace of Wands is like, hold that staff. Like, oh. Like how this man is, um, it seems he, he's very in tune with the staff and like, um, how even though there's like six people, six other people trying to challenge him, he's owning it. And like, think of that as like the challenges, the struggles that you've been through. Um, just own it. Let it be your source of power. I'm not sure if you hurt someone's feelings or if someone hurt your feelings, but um, yeah, I'm seeing hurt feelings a lot and as well as like becoming very defensive and like really shielding and guarding yourself. I'm seeing having to move obstacles, move things out of your way. Like really isolate yourself. You've had to do a lot of thinking and reflecting in order to get to where you are at emotionally. In order to find balance within yourself. You still feel the pain of it, but it feels like it's coming to an end. And when you look back and reflect on it, yeah, I'm seeing you can make it your source of power.
I'm seeing a lot of staffs here. Even like the Ace of Wands. As well as like your Shaman Oracle card. Our Shaman Oracle card. It's a staff. But it comes as medicine. Yeah, use that pain as a source of wisdom. Make it your power. Yeah, the staff says once you own it, then it won't hurt you anymore. Don't use it in a malevolent way. But use it as fuel. Fuel in order to achieve your goals, as well as be a teacher. Everything that you learn, good and bad, can become... It can be used as, used as a way to teach. Like, um, if, you, if you had a lot of pain in your life, if you went through a lot of suffering, that can be used as wisdom to help people avoid their stroke, avoid um, bad situations, as well as going through the same pain. Yeah, and once you own that, like, I really see like um, just inner balance. Like you're really at peace with yourself. We're really at peace with ourselves, Scorpio. Just remain balanced. Um, keep your head up, and just whatever you're going through, you're not alone. Um, we're all struggling in our own ways. Uh, but yeah, just empower yourself. Don't be discouraged. Oh, not Scorpio. That's all I have. Uh, thank you for watching. Sagittarius. Looks like throughout the month you're just um, finding a good balance or a good place between like um, I would say work and fun as well as like um, how you spend time with friends or like how how often you go out. Um, yeah, it looks like you're at a pretty good place. Um, I would say you're working pretty hard. <laughs> looks like your work is paying off. Like. Um, you're at a point where I would say like you saved up enough money to where you can like um, just chill and like really go out, probably splurge and like have some fun um, and just cut loose. Yeah, I'd say you're putting your skills in like um, your wisdom to good use, like, um, with the Hierophant Reverse, I would say, like, um, 
wherever you, it is that you learned or whatever lesson that you learned in order to like find that balance I guess between like work and play maybe someone maybe a mentor or like someone just gave you good advice um, with how to manage your finances or like how to like balance it in between like your responsibilities and like your time that you have to um, just really enjoy um, with your friends or like with you with the time for yourself, um, it's like um, you have a really good balance in that. <laughs> I see this like you tipping well, as well as just uh, spending money, like just um, being able to like spend it freely, possibly buy new clothes, like um, r improve your wardrobe. Yeah, spending time with family and friends. Like you're you're just at a really good place right now. Like you feel pretty stable. You just have a uh, abundance of money to spend. So. Yeah, I see this just with the Ten of Pentacles. Like you're, you're really happy right now. You're very comfortable, right now. Like even with, you have the Queen of Wands as you right now, and um, as well as like the environment is the Queen of Pentacles. So like, um, you're very comfortable. I can see the Queen of Wands, uh, sort of like um, dressing very. Fit flashy and like very stylish like really improving your wardrobe right now and like really really nurturing yourself as well as like I could see you like just eating good food trying just enjoying the finer things in life it's like your ideas are taking off I see like you have uh, very many options like in terms of like what you want to do like there's so many things you can you can do with this abundance like you don't, you're not sure what to do but you just feel you just feel happy and content as your final card the moon it says enjoy it now just make sure that um, when the time comes back to where you have to get back to the grind and just um, really work, um, just know that time will come around. But for right now, just enjoy what you enjoy life, like enjoy um, the fruits of your labor. Yeah, I see it. it um, life feels very dreamlike right now. Like you're living in a dream. And um, it's a really good dream. <laughs> now time for your Shaman Oracle cards. Ah, oh, shit. The upper world comes as your medicine. I see it like you taking off. The upper world is saying that even though you've reached this point to where you're comfortable right now, there's still a lot more or still more levels that you would like to go through. Like I know Sagittarius, you're very ambitious. So even though you're at this milestone, 
it's not enough. You would like more. You would like to aim higher. Just let it come around. But for right now, enjoy relaxing. Alright, that's all I have for you Sagittarius. A photo of this will be after the video. See ya. Capricorn. First card I have is the Chariot Reverse. I see this as a last minute opportunity for travel or for vacation in order to just get out and just really enjoy yourself. I can see it like you've been working very hard. I know Capricorns are very hard workers. It's like, um, it's, this is your time to kick back, like to really enjoy yourself, like to really relax. In the past, I'm not sure if this person has offered to go on a trip before or like if there was an opportunity for you to really kick back, uh, maybe your friends, um, probably invited you out to a trip but you were too busy at the time but this is like another chance for you to just like really have fun and just like um enjoy yourself over this summer like um i know that you, um, since capricorns you're hard workers um you're at a point to where like you're stable and like um yeah you don't have to worry about the money or anything because um, you've gotten yourself in a position to where like you're pretty financially stable or like or you have the resources available to where like you can go on this trip or you can like um, just explore and um, it wouldn't it wouldn't hurt your bank account or anything like this is the time for you to really have fun It could be like many opportunities coming your way, an opportunity to travel, move out of state for work as well. The Prince is saying, don't worry about your bank account or don't worry about like um, spending if you're at a point to where you're pretty stable and where you have that abundance of resources. Yeah, if you are going on a trip with your friends, then I can see this as you guys um, discussing a place or maybe like you guys all want to go in different directions. But once you, but needing to decide on one. I see this as leaving worries behind. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Just, uh, I can see this as like a moment just where you 
leave the responsibilities behind and like you just go and have fun like um if it's a time for you to like like if you have um family or if you you're going on a trip or you would like to travel just time to take off work uh just make arrangements and plans and like get everything lined up together for you to really enjoy yourself and just play and have fun I see this as like bad things will happen only if you allow it to. Like if you keep thinking, like let's just say you go on this trip and you're like, oh, um, what happens if um, the babysitter is, let's say kid set the house on fire or let's just say, um, what if I left the stove on or like just worrying about stuff at home. like. If you allow that to manifest, or if you keep speaking that during this time where, like, you can actually relax, then that stuff will happen. This reading could also symbolize, like, um, a pregnancy. Could mean that you became, yeah. Yeah. Maybe someone within your family, maybe you had a child and you're very excited about it. As well as racing to the hospital. All right. Or your shaman card. The Earth Keeper. What I'm seeing with this card is um, get in contact with someone. If it's probably a friend that you haven't um, heard from in a while, or if it's just. Um, someone that's been on your mind, just contact them. Um, maybe that friend or lover or whoever it may be might bring this uh, sunshine into your life. They might even bring new opportunities. Maybe an adventure, time to explore. Just see what that, just seeing what they bring. Yeah, and be, be kind to others. That's also what the Earth Keeper is saying. Make sure that you're very friendly. And you don't have to suck up to anybody, but just be friendly to others. You don't have to compete with everyone. Okay, that's all I have for your reading. Thanks for watching Capricorn. Hope you have a nice day. A picture of this will be after your reading. Aquarius. I'm seeing with the King of Wands is like if um, if you feel like someone's uh, talking shit or like um, being very passive or like very rude to you, um, don't deal with that. Like you're able to tell like right off the bat, like Aquarius, I know that you're very intuitive as well. 
So like really trust your gut on this one. It could be from a nice seed that you've done. Like maybe you were um, very nice to someone and um, you feel like that person has taken advantage of you or like um, like you've offered so a lot to that person out of the kindness of your heart. I see that you you've left it all to faith, like to whatever happens. Maybe this could be someone that's um, been slowing down your work progress. Um, someone that's been kept that's been restricting you or holding you back or um, I don't know, it could also represent an injury as well that's been holding you back. But I'm seeing like uh, things are really coming to a halt. Um, maybe this couldn't even, doesn't even represent a significant person in your life or a person in your life at all, but could represent like um, the amount of effort that you put in work, the amount that you've been working, and it could be time for you, time for a break or time to uh, slow things down a bit and really practice self care. Yeah, it's really time for you to like tend to your emotions, like really get in tune with yourself and um, just really take some time to reflect. Consider what has, consider what's, what's happened in your life within the past, uh, I'd say week or so. Whether this is a person that um, has slowed down your progress in work, it could have been like an injury or maybe um, just overworking. Just um, really take time to like think about um, what that is that has, you feel has slowed down your progress or has put things to a halt. Whether that's, um, putting too much effort or too much, I don't want to say too much effort, but putting too much time and energy into a project that you know has been draining you or taking so much of your time and energy or something that you feel it's time to move away from uh, some project, person, or thing within your life. If this is a person, then things will fall back into place. Yeah, if someone's done you wrong or if someone's um, tried to cheat you out, yeah, it, their time will come. Like, karma will come back on them. If this is a situation that you're having trouble moving away from, then what am I trying to say? Yeah. I just really see this as like the time will come when you'll be reimbursed. Whether that's for your efforts, your work, um, whether that's um, time you need to take for um, self-care, um, your energy will just fall into fall back into place. 
Um, let me get out one of their Shaman Oracle cards. What's the vision quest? I see it as like you needing to take some time to reflect. Like I said before. Let me see what else the vision has to say. I see it as me time. You're in need of some me time. Really time for some self care, whatever that looks like to you. Video games, ice cream, eating food, whatever it is. Make sure that you fill up your cup. Fill up your cup before you fill others up. Yeah, really make sure that you fill up your cup before you fill up others. That way you'll have enough energy and resources to help people out with theirs. Yep, and that looks like all, that's all I have for this reading. Thank you for watching, Aquarius. Um, your, a picture of this reading will be after the video. Thanks for watching. Last but not least, Pisces. All right, so Pisces. Yeah, you're very financially stable or like, um, even if it's not financial stability, like I see you either traveling or like you're in a good place where like you feel like you're in control of your life. You're very empowered and um, I see like you, you have time to have fun now. Like um, you feel very empowered and in a place where like you feel um, a renewed sense of confidence right now. Like, I don't know if it's um, you starting your own business or if um, you um, establishing your boundaries or starting a new job. Um, anything that um, can give you confidence. Maybe you could be um, going into sports or um, started working out or accomplishing a goal and you're feeling very confident about that. I see you um, just having fun, like um, needing to make that time out for fun. Like, I'm not sure if in the past you had to cut someone off or let go of a toxic relationship or anything like that. But um, I see um, maybe you had to leave some friends behind or um, in order to start a new life, in order to like um, really recognize your true potential. And... Um, I see um, you really stepping out and coming into your own Pisces. Like, even though it hurts, um, there's always still, like, more opportunities, whether this was, like, um, a bad relationship um, that you had to leave behind. I could see this as, like, you, um, you mourning over them, but you still have more options. Whenever your heart had time to heal, or then... You would have someone that's um, better for you or more compatible for you. Or even if this is you having to switch jobs, leave the, leave the state, leave um, the country in order to find a new job, in order to um, start your own business or anything, anything very ambitious, anything ambitious like that. Um, I can see like. You feel sad that you have to leave friends behind, but there's always more opportunities for you. There's always um, these two cups that are still waiting for you. And I can see this as, as like you working hard, like there's a lot that you need to do, but you can see like um, 
you can see your work, your progress paying off. That's why you're having time to celebrate and you're feeling pretty confident right now, Pisces. It could even be you making that time out to spend with friends before you travel or before you leave out to your new job. And like this could be you um, taking them out to eat, having fun, like treating them, just really having a good time. Especially with the Queen of Pentacles right here. It seems like you've worked very hard and like you can just really enjoy that. You, I see a very extroverted energy. I believe that Sagittarius, um, or later sign had this in a previous video where Queen of Pentacles as well as the Queen of Wands. But it seems like both of you guys are like in a very financial, uh, uh, finance, a very financial, financially stable, or um, you have financial comfort right now. Um, you feel um, you're in a place where you feel very comfortable and confident about what you're doing in life. Even though there's things that you've, people, or things that you had to leave behind. You know that there's more opportunities out there for you. More opportunities to grow. More opportunities to hone your skills and like really, really practice your talents. In order to put yourself out there, maybe get new job opportunities as well as like, um, <laughs> damn, I have both the King of Wands and Queen of Wands in this reading as well. Yeah, if you're starting your own business, I can see it being very successful. Or if you're starting a new job, this is going to be something that you're passionate about. That you wake up every morning and you're just happy to go to work. And as for your Oracle card, the ADN cross. This is the time. Yeah, once the change happens, you'll be happy. Like, I know there's some anxiety going, like, into this uh, new phase of life. In order to step out, put yourself out there more. But it'll be worth it. Like, the time it takes. The time and effort that you're putting into this project in order to put yourself out there in order to have the confidence to either start your own business or um, just explore, travel more. Um, I can see that like really paying off. <laughs> and they keep saying adventure, this card. <laughs> Just make sure that you're focused on your work as well and that you're able to support yourself. Even if you're supporting others or helping others out, make sure that you're able to take care of yourself as well. And just have fun. Just relax. Your mind's clear. No worries, Pisces. Thank you for watching. That's the end of my videos, my monthly videos i hope you guys enjoyed hope it resonated with you if not then i hope that it shined um some light or i hope that it offered a new perspective on things or even just for entertainment um hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching